Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing as the Baggers. A kind of generic nation, but we're using the Old World Blues reworked generic focus tree, so we gotta talk about our legacy. Our community was not founded alone, our ancestors have left us great foundations that make us that we, what we are today. So, uh, the bombs dropped over a century ago, and the actions of our grandfathers and great-grandfathers have shaped our society. We began to compile our history so that we may be told to our, that they may be told to our children, and our children's children. Well, who are our ancestors? Working class people of the working world. Consumer goods, upper crusts, uh, that's not bad. Next page, those who adapted to the end. Well, we are the baggers, and we have the NCR in our flag, so we're very connected to the NCR still. Next page, previous page, revolutionary thinking. Good Samaritans. Uh, let's go to the next page as well. Soldiers in the old world. Um, they dreamed of utopia. Hmm. Our forefathers left us as a dark past as prisoners. Or they left us drinking water. Oh, that's not bad, too. Our achievements. Despite the fact that we're a small community, we've accomplished a few remarkable things. Followed with our goals. Now we must find a common goal, one that will guide our community through the dark pages of the wasteland. Now we're led by Goddard here. There's nothing about him. We're intellectuals, though, so maybe we'll stay with intellectuals. Let's go with a dreamed of utopia. Because why not? Um, I've actually not even checked this part out at all. So is there anything unique or different about these guys? Maybe, maybe not. Um, give more research speed, more encryption and decryption. It's not bad. Not quite ruler, not quite diplomatic either, so probably go with John French. But our achievements? We've achieved much in the century we have survived, and even at times, thrived. Our historians seek to find what our greatest achievement is. A safe haven? Become a trade center. Salvage our home front. Securing our homeland, restoring power to the regions. A stable supply of food, even though we are idealists. Restoring a water plant. Oh, that's not bad. Um, connected our settlements, scavenger vehicle stockpile, ensured education. Or restore some workshops. Let's go, well, let's see what else. Medical stocks. Stockpile of medical supplies, explosive stockpile, uh, access to pre-war armory, retrieved a riot armor, salvaged power armor, which we actually cannot use at all, so it's not very useful, survival trainer defenders, and restored arms factories. Well, I kind of like the ensured education, because we are intellectuals here, so. Um, a lot of this is still generic, though, but that's okay. Local politics. We're not paying much attention to our people. We should probably not do that. And we're going to go with funding intellectuals for this campaign. Science and knowledge is our way forward, not greed and paranoia. Science will bring us to the future. Ah, our goals. Now that we've established our history, we should figure out what we shall do in the present. Discover what we shall do in the future is a task for our children. Become a regional power. Become wealthy. Become advanced. Next page. An enclosed community. Builders and engineers. Most famous drug dealers. Community of peace, far from violence. Well, we've become advanced. Um, so yeah, we definitely want to do this one. Intellectual meritocracy. So expand education, new entrance exams, intellectual takeover, intellectual idiocracy, attack for people, help for people, intellectual technocracy, and replace baggage with the technocracy, huh? Um, collect technology, produce new impl implements, techno militarists, relics of war. Is that a group of population, huh? 1%. Produce arms of the past. That well, seems very cool, but we're going to erect a palisade. We cannot afford to target and destroy threats effectively without casualties. We can simply do not the training as an intermediate measure until we can better train our military forces. We'll teach them entrenchment strategies such as mowing fire tactics to keep the enemies at bay as well as proper trench digging procedures. Militia commanders. Given command for militia squads to train veterans will let officers already having frontline experience deploy our longer troops, increasing their effectiveness and letting our command staff understand the requirements of intense battle better than anyone else. Militia drills. Improved drill structuring and trimming of unnecessary parts of it, as well as streamlining the training program given across the country. Overseen now by veterans and trained personnel will yield a noticeable increase in the speed at which we can form our militias. It is of the utmost importance that we keep an edge and field of manpower over our enemies. Militia organization. A reorganization of our command staff, as well as division stru structuring, will yield increased tactical efficiency during battle. Such measures will let our troops fight more effectively and maintain formation longer in the face of overwhelming odds, given time for reinforcements. And we're going to go to war with, the, with their dogs because they seem the weakest. One to four divisions, so we definitely want to go to war quickly before they get too strong. Old Dog is kind of a smoker, but militia recruitment posters. Making our most trained personnel or elite units into larger than life soldiers portrayed as tough, professional and ruthless will let us make us uh, let us make effective propaganda. Showing these commandos ready to take on and defeat any enemy will both reassure our population and inspire them into enlisting our militia and new homes. A house people is a happy people. Bring business. We shall ask foreign companies to come to our country to create businesses. It's time to stimulate our nation. Improve urban centers. The capital of the country is reasonably well developed, but the other major population centers are isolated and are not strongly connected to any of them. Doctor? Question mark? The West is full of rough guys, but very few are qualified to cure, for instance. It's necessary to stop the slack. You, me, and uh, hopefully time to beat up a few withered doggerinos. Um, they have some Chinese remnants there, too. Hang dogs will be put down, huh? 
Well, we'll see about that. Vault Dwellers, Violent Dudes, Local Operations. Do they have unique focus tree? No, they don't. Huh. Well, regardless, let's just go in and and the goal is to encircle them as best we can. Now, will that actually happen? Well, it's yet to be seen, but, you know, whatever. We'll probably, we will need Scott's buff, though, so keep these guys entrenched or in place. Hopefully, they have only three divisions. If they have four, it's still not an issue. We have six, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hello. Already, so. Take, 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 take. Take, take, take. Nice, there you go. They're getting circled. They're going to be hopefully screwed over, but you never know. And there you go. Nice. Go in there, too. Take Raymer and Ava Alo. And I'll hopefully take these guys out. There, of course, there are a bunch of ghouls here. But what we got so far? We've got this guy here who gives us a bonus to researching conventional warfare, Richard Bruckenridge. Do I attribute? Now we're good. We're going to need some anti-tank to take out Iron Alliance, too. Oh, boy. Um, after this group... Ooh. Um, how much more do we need? They're almost gone. Yeah, like I said, we need Scott's Bluff, so... Put that too. And of course, we need more manpower like normal, but whatever. Uh, hopefully these guys can finish these guys off here, too. They've got a crap ton of organization, though, which is unfair, man. Unreal. Hopefully we destroy that Militia Division, too. And we're gonna get right here, it'll be great. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Of course, we're out of guns. What else is new? I'm gonna lower that one, too, if you need to. It's not bad. I do want to make some special forces. That'll come in handy quite a bit. And we'll see what happens. So we're doing militia drills. we got these top three to do as well. Uh, salvage new tools. With expansion of our industrial strength, we must be able to adapt our workers with new tools. And by gunsmiths. We must improve our military strength for this. We must produce more equipment. And by refugees. With the new business operations, we need customers and workers. Nothing better than to tap into the migratory flows caused by wars. And expand settlement defenses. In a violent role like ours, we must be constantly on guard and protect our towns. And picking our doctrine. So many choices we can make. If we're not careful, we can doom ourselves. Pretty much. Alright, so this one is... Eh, it's getting there. They just... They have a, so much organization, it's not even funny. Oh, my goodness. Let's go right there. Yeah. I mean, we could force the attack. But would that be very beneficial for us? Eh. Help them out as best you can. It's just barely dropping. We're losing quite a few guys, but you know, at this point, we kind of have to. Uh, more propaganda? Sure, why not? That'd be nice. Drastic measures? We don't need drastic measures. Uh, Bald caps economy? Nah, we're good too. Town defender? Like normal. Bring your civilizations? Not bad. Get some more population with recruitment posters. They're doing okay there. How much more manpower do they have? Got a little bit. Two to four divisions, no guns, which is good to see. Of course, we have no guns either, but whatever. Um, go in there, come on. If you get in there and get in there, and then just force the attack, and you'll, you'll probably all die, but that's okay. Three more days for that, not bad. We're getting it. We're getting it. Keep them in place, just keep them in place. Keep them in place. See some patriotism, it probably goes out of that one. Um... Research speed. Just do not let them move. Do not let them get any organization regained. Especially the militia division here. We get 1.32 every single day, which is not bad. It's alright, but not bad. Um, anything here? Local sheriff. It's not bad. We'll, we'll need that definitely. 5% more attack, not bad. Uh, more army speed gain might not be bad for the entire campaign. We'll need that quite a bit, in all honesty. Scientific devotion, more research speed. At position, just by goes time. Um, we actually might come down here, if anything. Or we'll come up here. Well, I'd like to come down here, but we don't have enough of that yet. Uh, political power is pretty good to get, too. You know what? Screw it. I want more PP. 1.45? Nice. That's very good. Oh, uh, we're gonna get more. You know, at least take this towel. At the very least, take that towel first. And then you can force the attack over there. Let's take a look. Take a look. Immediately help out infantry. Thank you. Come on. You know, if they want to start moving around, I'm kind of okay with that. They might try to encircle this division, but whatever. Ooh, actually. That just makes it easy to kill these guys off then. Just do that. There you go. You'll win anyways. It'll be fine. Here, just force it at this point. 
There you go. We'll get him. I can promise you that. Mission of Warfare is nice. Battle plans, yes, please. We've lost 95, about 100 versus, well, 50. But it doesn't matter since we got all the VPs. Of course, the most important thing is now I'm going to put down a lot of resistance. Do you have any puppets yet? No. Oh, you're a puppet of them. Um, Two to seven. They could just run into our lines the entire time, maybe. That might be better to go to war with these guys then. Give some time to get ready to go to war with them, Full too. Full-time professionals. An army conscripts will merely throw away lives we cannot spare. Full-time soldiers will outclass them in every measure. Now, we could go strict entrance exams, but that's going to hurt our population. And even though we like more attack and breakthrough, population is going to be really important. Harsh training. Subjecting the crews to difficult to difficulty early on, with only one chance to drop out, will call those weak links who won't make it on the battlefield. Now, as we are still struggling against these guys, we lost about 600 versus uh, about, probably about 2,500, so not bad. Um, there's another one I read as well, which is why we have five research slots. Hopefully we don't lose here. We gotta hope we don't lose here. Um, but uh, that one is improve the countryside. Our countryside is full of treasure and ruins to explore. Small communities live there, but are too isolated for anyone to access. Let's change that. Explore police stations. In the old world, there were local peacekeepers, but they were all armed. We're going to hope to find the relics. Standardized kits. We can't very well expect our troops to march to war under-equipped. Outfitting every one of them is a duty for the factory workers. Testing morale. Let's test rec recruits' behavior in the battlefield with mock skirmishes. Those still operating efficiently are to be served as examples for the rest. Um, updated strategies. Leadership is a critical component for victory. The generals and officers must learn from conflict and develop superior methods of waging war. Ammunition quality control. We can't put a price on victory. By rerouting higher quality raw materials with ammo factories and finding quality inspectors, we can ensure that every soldier can count on the rounds putting down their targets. Standardized military. Our militia use vast amounts of different equipment, be it firearms, armor, or even sometimes supply and food. Creating and standardizing a basic armament and supply kit will amplify or simplify our supply line considerably and reduce the strain felt both during offensive and defensive operations. And of course, encourage women to serve. Everyone should be able to serve. The women in our nation are so afraid, for they think war should be left to men. We'll show them that they can help destroy the enemy and defend the nation as well. Sniper training, infiltration tactics, sapper drills. They'll kill a raider just as effectively as any man in air base construction. Our nation could do well with clearing some land and restoring what the old world referred to as an airfield. Perhaps we can bring in trade, and at worst, we have free land. And expand our markets. We cannot afford to continue to sell vegetables to exist. We must expand a commercial offer. You, me, and, well, Boulder encircled. Um, casualty wise, we've actually eliminated a few divisions here and there, but we're still struggling here. Um, Boulder, like I said, is encircled. I'm encouraging women to serve, but I guess old world tactics are up next. Inspiration taken from old data terminals and military manuals will be put to use in improving our armed forces. Old world tactics are effective, if too crude for the wasteland. Combining them with skirmishing and guerrilla strategies while well, survival training will make our army into a capable fighting force. Fallback tactics. Specialized recon troops constantly sc uh, scouting our rear lines for retreat routes, as well as pre planned reinforced defensive positions behind the enemy from the front line. We'll make our forces able to tactically retreat under covering fire instead of simply running as fast as possible and soiling their underwear. Point defense strategy. Point defense strategy is designated as such because of its operating requirements. Multiple camouflage outward outposts armed with long range weaponry and off the beaten path will both harass enemy troops from afar and give advance warning as to their composition and strength. Uh, tactical awareness and mapping. Integrating map awareness and tactical battlefield thinking into the training regiment of our command staff and re uh, recon sergeant will make them able to direct our troops more effectively and know the surrounding battle. This will allow them to move and strike in a rapid fashion as well as organizing ambushes and traps, leaving no respite to the enemy. Marching drills, while we prefer to re uh, refer to it as improved physical and tactical drills, the frack and bore and walk as the soldiers come to call it aim to improve their strategic mobility via better resilience and faster march. Being slightly more swift than the enemy will always be an advantage worth having. Long distance movements. Expanding upon our marching drills, we manage to improve it as to also maintain tactical awareness. Combat stances and proper battle spacing uh, during long walks. As such, our troops are more ready to face an enemy counterattack or immediately join an assault without having to stop and regroup, which is pretty good to have. And then uh, recruit caravan guards. More and more commercial convoys pass through our cities and we've no security thing. Guards assigned to them are not actually employees, but mercenaries. Promise them a place to stay better and work uh, better co work contracts, and their merchant employers will allow us to recruit them into our army, bolstering the ranks with trained professionals and hired gunsmen. The dire need for more firepower can be resolved in quite a simple way. Sending messengers throughout our nation to recruit any gunsmiths available into our armed forces will both increase their manufacturing capability, bringing their small arms expertise into our arms or, or into our ranks or arms too. Also, we're going up here just so we can these three divisions. So, hey, we'll see what happens. Myra looks straw worn. At least these three divisions are hopefully going to die. We're just lacking a lot of guns. And manpower soon, too, but, you know, whatever. We're trying to close these guys off here so they can stay here, and we're going to circle and destroy that place. Destroy these guys here so we're going to circle these guys over here and circle and destroy this division, too, but, you know, whatever. Oh, please don't die there. Please don't die. You're not allowed to die. There are a lot of win there. Good, good, good. Um, I like to attack there, but let, let our divisions move around just a little bit first. 
Um, our lurks and apostles. Uh, uh, finding power, not power, but special forces is not great. Push them in, push them in, push them in. They should still be weak enough that we can actually push them in and then take border, capitulate them, maybe, and then just keep pushing out forward. That is the goal right now. If I could just win right there, that'd be great, but you guys come down here just in case. Hello, bugs, nice. Actually, you know what? Screw it, use it right now. Good, good, good. And this is a lot of territory for us to take in one sitting. Oh, and the hang dogs did die, so. Um, right, next up, we'll be going to two-year conscription as well, because we, as you can tell, really need it, even though we just recruited women into our military. And that's okay with us. Women need to die just as much as men. Don't quote me on that one, though. If we can win there, take them, and then destroy them because of their lack of organization, muy bueno. As long as they don't take up here, too. Our guy's looking super weak. Whatever. Of course, we do need some um, radios as well, which would be good to get. Oh, come on, man. How much more manpower do they have? My god. So happy you guys there. They're attacking there, which is fine for now. They should be able to hold out. Come on, push in. Push in. You can push in. I know you can. Do not let them win right there. That'd be a giant mistake. Hey, another division. Nice. I thought I got. I stopped. I thought I stopped making divisions. Good. Let them struggle against us, and then we're gonna attack them. Force the attack prop, most likely, and then uh, win right there. But my god, yeah, this is uh, definitely special. Get those special forces in there and force the attack. Cause oh, Lance is failure. Oh well. The, once their spec ups are dead, that'll be really good. There's a, they have a total of twelve divisions here, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. You know what? You guys have force attack as well. They're literally not allowed to uh, do anything except die. It's going to be very costly to do this, but as you can tell, our general's actually level 6. That's why we're taking so long. It's been a couple of years since we started this war. That's okay with us. Totally, totally okay. Let's come down here too. Um, yep, that'd be good. And we'll grab... Yeah, that'd be good to get. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Do not let them recover at all. You guys looking weak? No, not at all. Honestly, you're looking actually pretty good. Considering everything... Oh, another division died, though. They have only six divisions left. Oh, nope. Make that five. Come on. Yep, make that four. It's a little more than four, because there's one right here just not doing anything, but whatever. Once these guys are gone, we can put these rest of the divisions on the front line up here. We will be good. Uh, actually, we'll probably be more than good. Tactics list now. Oh, of course, they do have a four here, too, I guess. Oh, they do have a level two outposts. Not bad. And special forces are destroyed. And we should have... A bit. Oh, and there's one last division there. It's fine. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We got Boulder, which will capitulate these guys, get these guys on the front line, get some planning done for those who are not already up there, and we should have it. Actually, we don't have them yet. God dang it. Whatever. Get these guys up there. Because I want to take Laramie. That'll capitulate them. Use the special forces. Should be able to do that. You're not moving. Straight for Fort Laramie. That'll be fine. Make sure we have plenty of political power, because we will need to core this territory as fast as possible. That's actually extremely good core. Holy crap. Fort Laramie, come on. Come on, boys. You got this. Old road tax course. Fallback lines or fallback tactics as well. Come on. Come on. You're level 4 too, even though you're like level 1 for defense and whatnot, but whatever. Force it. Yeah, everyone spread out. Go, go, go. We got rid of them already, which is nice, 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 nice. nice. You guys go over there. Um, You guys go over there too. Keep them in place. If you can get in there faster than they can, that'd be great. Come on. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Oh, that's so nice. Four more divisions go bye-bye. Yes, I knew we could get them eventually. So in the meantime, let's go and start just fighting these guys. Uh, 80 days is not bad. We might have the war done within 80 days. Because now they're left with three divisions. Which means we should be able to easily beat the crap out of them. Right? Right. Which means we have no manpower, which sucks. Um, let's do this anyways. Like I said, two-year conscription, not bad. Um, so yeah. Overall, pretty nice. 
Of course, I didn't read these two, but subsidized weapon manufacturers. Massive investments into local weaponsmiths will let them recruit more people, expand their operations, and acquire advanced equipment. In return, will benefit from weaponry provided at a reduced bulk rate and have priority in any firearm batch over private citizens. Establish an armory. Establishing a centralized armory built in every sitting center will amplify or simplify supplies, increase the access to ammo, and give us a better working space for military industry, as well as an emergency location for militia members to go in case of enemy attacks, which is very important. Start camp production. It's not very well seen, but business is business. Build sewing homes. Our people need clothes, do they not? Setting up homes and spaces for people to sew clothes will make our people happier as they won't have to rely on old war or find, try to find an old pre-war suit. And so they can make one. Reopen armories. We originally need to expand a military force. In order to do so, we must expand an industrial capacity. Expand the farms. The key to life is supplies and the way sand food is a very rare product. And with all of our new workers, we can afford to expand our farms. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and then we did leave that open so they could potentially answer close down there, but whatever. Hopefully they don't. Yeah, it was going to suck for uh, this stuff here, too. But we do have you guys, so... Hell, or... I'll put down as much resistance as possible. This resistance sucks. Do they get more divisions? Might have Saratoga, huh? Hey, guys, don't wait. Waiting means death. By God, we're not going to wait here to either, so... There you go. That's nice. Good. Williams, eh? There you go. Hey, yeah, bro, how about you get in there? Oh, they're doing a, a raid. Yeah, they're going to get raided really easily. Kriag? Not Craig, but Kriag. Keep going, keep going. Don't you dare stop. Ooh, Vault 27. Um, you know, once we conquer all this territory, then we'll probably do, like, the whole military uh, veterans benefits things. Get more compliance, get less resistance and whatnot, because we can't afford it. Even though we're still mobilizing more, but whatever. And they'll go to war these guys. I think a good goal would to get as much of uh, Colorado under us as possible. So, of course, every single time we start this, it's going to be a slow start because you're not very strong. But eventually, you'll get quite strong in the end. Which is always a goal. Always, always, always a goal to get strong. Because if you're not strong, well, you're probably weak. And we, no one wants to be weak. Penitentiary. Demand tribute. Yeah, no. Go suck yourself. If you think we're going to give you... Penitentiary. Penitentiary, yeah. Ah, it's hot Sulphur Springs Resort. I've never been to a resort. Have I ever been to a resort? I might not have. I don't know. Have you ever been to a resort? Also, we do have the Aiding Against a Bull down here. Petition the NCR. Forces for Burke. Forces for the Maxon Chapter. And Forces for Bears' of Teeth. So, mobile fortifications are nice. And we're already done with the line doctrine in the first episode. Nice. Get there, and we'll go down here too. There we go, we got him. My god, that took forever. But it was worth it, because I get our generals a ton of experience. Because it's way more uh, industrial capacity. And it allows us to go to war with these guys too. A huge step towards reuniting Colorado. I don't, don't think we can form the city of Colorado, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. Well, Diana, well, whatever. And we do want to take out Iron Alliance, too, because we need a um, trade node. So after these guys, Iron Alliance will probably be good. Hopefully we get some more military factories, core more stuff. Um, scavenge. There we go. How much are we making right now? 504. That's really good. Holy crap. Hey. You look tasty. And it's because you are. Beauty Paradise. Paradise is the name of the tribe who's living here to call this state a marvelous ecological paradise within the waste, hidden between the mountains. While this place is marvelous, we have a feeling that something's hidden behind the fauna of this place. Large metal gates and hidden pathways give the impression that there's something working here outside of the grass. Still, it's quite pretty. Bruh. Did you just strip my rights away? My, uh, I mean, uh, strip my stuff away? My rights? I don't know. You don't have rights. Oh, wait, what? Anyways. Um... 
jokes, a lot of jokes. Oh, like no cities. Well then, do we have at least enough divisions to cover the entire front line? It looks like no. That's unfortunate because they do almost. They almost. Uh, glow, glows cradle, huh? Chug water. Oh, you're up there. Okay, that's fine. And we're still missing stuff, which is not good. Plenty of manpower, though. Which is a good thing, as it cracked my knuckles and whatnot. Still no planes, which sucks, but whatever. You know, just going to deploy them early. Reopen the armories, which is good. Expand production. We need more and more production. Our workers must become more efficient and faster. Oh, you betcha. We're going to industries. You simply cannot stand out of the wasteland if you don't have a significant industrial strength. But yeah, pretty much. Chug water. Yeah, even they don't have full strength. And we don't have any anti-tank, do we? Actually, we do have some anti-tank. Thank God we researched it earlier, because I knew we were going to fight the Warden, maybe? Or at least very, at least very Iron Lions, so. So that's good. Let me strap them up. So we have a good amount. How much? Uh, anti-tank, yeah. 30 piercing, some odd piercing is not bad. Now, we might struggle here, but as long as I got the piercing, infantry armor can get pierced very easily. Motorized, not so much, but we'll see. We'll see. They immediately start attacking us. What happens if we immediately start attacking them? Do you all want to go to there, there, to there? No, we're doing all right so far. Oh, look at that. Yeah, doing that's not bad. Could be better. Eh, not super concerned about it. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's so nice. 40%. They lost 60% of their, 70% of their strength so far. 80%. Oh, goodness. They've lost 85, 90% of their strength in that one battle. They lost all their strength in one battle. Okay, there you go. That makes it easier to count. That's a lot of losses. So with that in mind, we're probably going to still continue going out. Lots well, that's Wyoming. Never been... Actually, no, I have been to Wyoming. It's a nice state. Um, we're probably going to go to war these guys next, actually. 80 days ain't bad, though. I think we'll have these guys under wraps. This got to save a lot of PP just core stuff. PP hoarders. Which is kind of weird to say, but kind of fun to say at the same time. Are you a PP ho hoarder? Level 5, level 6, level 4, not bad, very good. Let's keep these guys in place, let them all die. Nice. We have enough guns for these guys, but hey, that's why I conquer other people. Cool. But these guys are probably going to take us like crazy. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. I've been playing this for like two hours at least. So, hey, if you enjoyed the first video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow to see what else the baggers have in store for Colorado. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your